Hello everyone, I want to give you my favorite tricks on how to make the most precise automation points in Cubase. The first method is to open your automation panel by pressing on F6 and going to your setup icon here, then selecting show data on tracks. Now you can see the waveform of this audio track on your automation lane and you can use your range selection tool to make the most precise selections and modify your values like this. And rather than starting over with a new range selection, you will simply take the left side and drag it over, do your next automation point and keep going like this. You'll never have an overlapping problem and your points will stay perfectly clean. Um, and for me, this way is the best. So I wanted to show it to you. The other trick that I like to use is the draw tool. This way you can make very precise edits. But you'll find out that there's a problem because Cubase is set by default to round up your moves by reducing the number of points that are present, like this. You can see there's a lot of points right now, but when I release it, most of them are gone, so you get like rounded results of what you wanted. If you want to change that, go back to your automation panel by pressing F6 again and then go to your setup and you see here reduction level 50 just type in zero and then go back here and let's try to draw something again all right you can see now that the points remain exactly like i did and this applies to your real-time writing of automation so if you add a fader move and you really liked how it sound in real time when you did it well now it won't be rounded up like it was before it will be exactly like you heard it in real time and for me it's better like this so i wanted to give you the trick and with this i will wish you an excellent day and talk to you soon